So Tony, thanks a lot for coming today. Pleasure, thank you. Um, so what I want to do very quickly is just nail down exactly what the situation was and mm -hmm. is in a nutshell. Right. Uh, you know, one or two sentences, what happened from childhood and what your learning experience was. Right. Well, what happened with me, Nick, is, is when I was a small child baby, my brain decided to close off one eye. Yeah, because it wasn't aligned perfectly. No, a vertical tilt, my brain couldn't put the images together. Yeah. So it discarded one. Yes. So which I, is the left. That's right. Yeah. And I lived all my life like that yeah. until I was 48. With 2D image. You just look now with one eye. Yeah, monocular, basically. Totally monocular. Yeah. Uh, until I was 48 and I embarked on a, a series of vision therapies. Which yeah, which your optician and eye doctors and everyone said you can't do. Don't believe it. Yeah. It can't be done. Which is why you should attempt to do it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, don't tell me I can't do it. <laughs> but the vision therapists believe that you can do it. Yeah. And I followed the vision therapists and I made my brain connect with that eye. Yeah. So you've now connected both eyes. Yes. You've got stereoscopic vision. Yes. You have more depth in your vision. Yes. So n that gives you a problem in snooker because you, you've got to completely relearn how you see the balls. Everything's changed. And your head position has to be completely different. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So today is about getting you able to see the line before the shot, get down on the line, yeah. and see the line when you're uh, see the line for what it is when you're down on the shot. Yes. So how we're going to do that is as we said earlier, first of all the eye position takes priority. Mm -hmm. The head follows. The right. head position or tilt or angle follows that. And then the body and the stance follows that. Okay. So it starts at the top and works down. Good. So we're going to work on finding that foundation that gives you the best chance to uh, see the angle for what it is. Yes. This okay. is where I have my problems. Okay. Mm -hmm. So shall we do it? Yes, please. Okay. <laughs> so hi guys, here with Tony today. Um, we've had a session on eye alignment and angle recognition. Uh, thanks for agreeing to take the time out to just share your experience. That's that's all we want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I've, I've found this truly informative for me today, Nick, because I just didn't have a clue where I should have been lining up. And, and although I've tried to take the the 80s square on stance for quite a while now, I've realised with working with you that that's just out of the window and all my alignment now it's totally different. So just to give a very brief background, uh, you are uh, uh, born with um, vertical... I had vertical tilt. Vertical tilt in the other. Mouth. So the brain discarded the use of one eye, Yes. and you used one eye effectively through yeah. adulthood. I've so you had 2D vision. That's right, monocular all my life. Your vision therapist mm -hmm. said you can correct that even though everyone disagreed with you. That's right and said there are exercises that can bring both eyes together and get you back to 3D vision, yes. which you've got. Yes. But it's a disaster for your snooker. It has been. Because your vision, it's not to do with improving or um, degrading your vision. Your vision no. has changed. Yeah. My, so you, my angles changed, Nick. Yeah, and then your vision changed, and then the whole game became a mystery. Yes. Again. Yes. So the, the first thing we did was alignment. How many years have you been battling to find your alignment? Six. And how long did it take us this morning? Approximately five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. so, so that was helpful then. Most, most helpful. <laughs> and what was your feeling with straight pots after that? After My confidence th levels just shut off. Okay. Yeah. The other thing that you pointed out on stance there yes. is there's no cookie cutter thing with stance, that's my yeah, approach. Exactly. So when we found your correct eye alignment using the exercises uh, from the online area, mm -hmm. what, what um, stance allowed your head position to... Um, it was just totally different from what I've been doing. I mean now I, I, I walk into the shot and this yeah. leg comes so far forward and just twists me round into position for that eye to be over the queue, and then everything just flows and the confidence levels. Fantastic. Right, so we found 
a way to stand, or rather you found, you yeah. included on your own, didn't you? Well, we've you? worked together, haven't we, obviously. Yeah. Mm. Um, but it's really interesting. You found an alignment position, and then the stance has accommodated the body to be in a certain way yeah. that allows the head to view the shot properly. Yeah, everything okay. lines up. Okay, great. And then the hidden benefit of that was it gave you a bit more space here to cue with a bit more freedom. That's right. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, um, so that's that's terrific and, and mm. well done for all your progress. <laughs> well, I'm absolutely over the moon with this session today because it's taught me so much in such a short period of time. So that being the foundation yes. of potting, yes. when we use this then for angle recognition mm -hmm. on thin cuts, we use the well, it was a one eight ball cut back black off the black, in, yes, in, off the black spot, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, how long did that take you to uh, relearn that potting angle? I would say within ten minutes again. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I I would play that shot ten times out of ten and hit it in ten different places. Right. Maybe a couple of times in the pocket. Yeah. But you know, more often than not, I'd hit it thick. Mm -hmm. uh, I did start with the angle find it hit it slightly thin, mm -hmm. but then once we settled into it, it was going in the pocket. And, and purely because of the fact that we had a line to work to. Yeah. Whereas, whereas before it was just a, a guess. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So, so effectively, the stabilizers session when we forced your cue to be on the line of aim. Yes. Using that technology, um, that effectively just shook the brain a little bit and, and reminded it, hey guys, this is where yeah. the correct pot. This is what the shape of the shot looks like to pot it. Exactly. And then, and then. We could remove the stabilizers then, yeah, and then you, you could pop solo then, couldn't you? Definitely. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Great. Well. Mm. Well, thanks a lot for, for sharing your experiences and being willing to do that. I, I, I really think it should be me that's doing the thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Th I mean, uh, when I saw your post on on Facebook, uh, yeah. it, it was so emotive, and I, I just admired what you'd done so much with learning to see in three D. Yeah. I mean, yeah, it's, fantastic. It's been such a life-changing experience. It really, really yeah, is. Yeah, forget snooker, just life, oh, generally. Life in general. Every day is like a wow day. You know, you see something different and it's like, wow. Tell <laughs> us about the, uh, the snow. The glistening. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, one Sunday morning, I'm out walking in a field and I'm looking and I'm seeing these bright diamond, diamond bright lights in the snow. And I'm going, Wow, the snow glistened. <laughs> and I spent two hours just walking about this field, looking at the snow in, in disbelief. And, and this is after you'd learned to see in 3D with those exercises? This is, this is about two and a half, three years into my exercises. Yeah, okay, yeah. So it was just yet another experience. Yeah. Where I, there's been hundreds of them, but this was one of the biggest things that will stick with me all my life. Yeah. You know, I, I mean... Well, what were the condition of your feet at the end of this two hours? I was numb. Seriously numb. It took me hours to thaw out, but I just didn't want to walk away from this experience. Yeah. I mean, here I am, I'm 50 years old, and I'm seeing something for the first time in my life. Because in 2D vision, you can't you see can't that see prism no. with the light splitting in. You can't the see the depth of it. It's not there. And when you see it for the first time in your life, it's like, wow. And um, when you went home and told your wife, what did she say? Of course it does. Of course the snow glistens. <laughs> well, excuse me, I haven't seen it before. <laughs> That's just such a great story. And I really, I, I just, um, I really appreciate what you've done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's yeah. a great story. And I'm so pleased to, to it, have met you. And, uh, it's you been know. a great part. Yeah, thanks a lot. Thank you, Nick. Snooker hug. <laughs> Thanks very much indeed. All right, yeah. thank you. Thanks for your help. <laughs> no, I've, I have. I've enjoyed this lesson. Thanks. Uh, really. So that the difference in height that I played there was probably only two millimeters or so. This is the Snooker Gym Player of the Year for hundred break players. You come to a stop in a controlled way and begin the delivery in a controlled way as well.